10 years. 10 years is a long time, a decade. And in many ways, it seems so far in the past. In some ways, it doesn't seem so far away at all. It isn't hard to remember being deployed in Ramadi, Iraq in the summer of 2006. And yes, sometimes that seems like a distant place a long time ago. And yet, Sometimes it feels like we were just there yesterday. The sweltering heat, the dust, the danger, the crystal clear focus on our mission. When we had but one purpose in our lives, to close with and destroy an evil enemy bent on destroying us and our way of life. And it doesn't take much for the mind to return there, to regain that mindset, to get into the combat mode and remember. Remember the operations out in the city. Remember the tracer rounds in the night sky, explosions shaking the earth, the weight of body armor and weapons and gear on our shoulders. Remember the stress and the violence and the sweat and the blood. And remember the evil. The pure evil that infected the city and committed savage, vile, and disgusting acts of mortal sin. Murder, rape, and torture. And inside that dark world, a world ripped apart by war, a world where sometimes humanity seemed all but lost, that is where we got to see and experience the polar opposite, the counter to all that darkness. Against that backdrop of evil, we young men we band of brothers we got to witness light and life and love so strong that it makes the darkness fade and makes the evil cower and hide its wretched face evil bows down when it sees the bond we developed with the soldiers and marines we fought alongside evil cannot contest the bond we formed with our brother seals with whom we had become so close that there is no stronger force in the world nothing more powerful nothing more meaningful than knowing that these men these frogmen that we would do anything for each other we saw powerful acts of heroism and courage on an almost daily basis which reassured us solemnly that good would triumph over evil and amongst all that glory there were a few men the true heroes the ones that rose above the rest of us to symbolize and personify courage and faith and selflessness and love Mark Allen Lee was one of those rare men, one of those heroes, one of the few men in my life that I literally describe as a saint. That is who Mark was, a mighty warrior whose ferocity in combat was perfectly balanced by faith and humor and compassion. A man that left his mark on everyone that he met. A mark of happiness 
and positivity and of humility and of joy. A man whose love for his family and friends was so unbounded and so limitless that you could actually feel it emanating from his heart. And now he has left his mark on the world. Mark Lee. Mark Allen Lee. When faced with fear, who else could bring a smile? When faced with sadness, Who else could bring laughter? When faced with hate, who else could bring love? And when faced with death, who else could stand and say, Take me, Lord, not my brothers. I will be their shield now from death. Take me and let them live on. And that is what Mark did. Full of youth and energy and courage and humor. And full of love. He stood. He stood against evil and he stood against death and he gave his life for his brothers. And for our freedom. on August 2nd, 2006, in Al-Ramadi, Iraq. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. And in those ten years, think of all that has happened in our lives. Big events like marriages, children born, birthdays, new houses, new jobs, new careers. And small events. A morning surf session. Lunch with your buddies. A weekend in the mountains. A cold iced tea on a hot summer's day. A smile, a laugh, life, joy, happiness. And every moment of that happiness is a gift. A gift. A gift given to us by Mark, who sacrificed everything for us. Who gave up his own precious smile so we could all have ours. Now I can tell you, without a shred of doubt that on this day today Mark would not want tears he would not want sadness he would not want sorrow he would want smiles and laughter and joy because that was his gift to us every smile every laugh every ounce of life and love is all a gift from a warrior a friend a comedian a son a brother a hero a saint
and what do we owe Mark? For Mark, each and every one of us must relish the gift that he gave to us and cherish each and every day while remembering the incredible man that gave us this gift of life. And to the seals that are listening, the frogmen, you owe Mark what we Oh, all our fallen brothers, the grave commitment to carry the fire, to hold the torch and hold it high, to take the fight to the enemy every chance you get without mercy and without remorse until they are vanquished and there is peace. Thank you, Mark. We will never forget you. God bless Mark's family. God bless the teams. God bless America. And God bless Mark Allen Lee.